Hey guys, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Negative today, uh, Stephen O. Young. So, uh, how's your day been? Tiring. Went to work. I had a Making an honest living. Yeah. Yeah, I had a similar, <laughs> similar day. I, uh, you know, I moved out uh, of my house. I'm actually going, I moved in today. I told you it was going to be uh, tomorrow, but I actually ended up moving today, so that was uh, interesting. <laughs> to university, yeah, right? Yeah, nice so, man. And then I also uh, worked after that, so I'm I'm pretty uh. Pretty Wait, so are you are you in your dorm right now? No, I'm actually at my house. I'm going to move a few other things tomorrow, but I'm mostly gotcha. moved in. So, gotcha. Nice. I was going to say, way to start. <laughs> with the roommate situation hey guys everybody need to be quiet i'm gonna do a podcast right now yeah that yeah exactly it was very cool dude except i did that for my siblings so all right <laughs> so uh yeah it's been crazy um and i also hit a hundred thousand uh, followers today on uh yeah okay which by the way i'm jealous <laughs> you got a hundred thousand i'm uh i mean i'm jealous i'm impressed let me just say that a good job that's that's a testament to your hard work and consistency, you know, but a hundred thousand followers. If I could get just a tiny percentage of that, <laughs> God dang, that's amazing, man. It's just growing. So congratulations yeah. to you. dude. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. It's uh, it's a lot. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and it gives me a, the great opportunity to talk to people like you. So that's right, man. I saw, I mean, I've seen your, your uh, account, before it was a hundred thousand, and then all of a sudden you hit me up, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I, I know this." And I look <laughs> at your account again. And I'm like, hundred thousand. And then I got real mad. I was like, "Oh, this guy. Okay, yeah, this guy thinks he's hot stuff. All right, <laughs> this guy thinks he's cool. Yeah, man. So again, congratulations. Thank you. This is very exciting for. Do you have a number that you're gonna try to hit? Is there like a magic number for you? Or I mean, a hundred thousand was the biggest goal for a while. I mean, I was at like fifty thousand like last year in the, during yeah. the summer. So, uh, right. And doubling it within a year is just crazy to me. So yeah. you're like a a young uh, Zuckerberg. <laughs> you're gonna take over the world, man. That's yeah. fantastic. Good for you. It was very cool. If Zuckerberg wore a Spider-Man costume. That's right. So even better. Yes, you know? even better. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, yeah. You need to make a. You need to make a Mr. Negative page, man. Oh, In fact, yeah. you know what? Don't even make a Mr. Negative. Just make a Stephen Young page. Yeah, I will pay go. you to manage this, dude. <laughs> give me some of your secret sauce. How does that work? That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, the main thing yeah, is man. just posting consistent. I mean, that's the main. Right. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, so uh, we'll jump into the questions. Uh, so, uh, of uh, so, how did you get the role? Like, how did? Uh... Oh man, yeah. So, I was doing a lot of live shows, a lot of dinner theater things like that for years, and I was doing stunts while I was doing that. So around man when did it when did we audition it was like 2016 or something like maybe even 15 i don't know i think it was 2016 uh i had just signed with the manager and uh i was like i was ready dude i was like i'm gonna i am i am acting because i was doing stunts for probably eight nine years something like that before that um i was doing some fight choreography and i was just always getting beat up by superstars, yeah. you know, <laughs> Denzel Washington, Keanu Reeves, all these dudes, right? Like, if you look at my IMDb, ah, you can see, right? But like, I was just, you know, I had trained martial arts for many, many years. Um, and I wanted to be the next Bruce Lee, right? And so I was like, yeah, stunts, that's the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be Bruce Lee by doing stunts. And it's like, no, you're gonna be the punching bag to everybody. So <laughs> I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. So around 2000, yeah, 2015, I had signed with my manager and I was like serious about, you know, acting and I was doing co-star stuff here and there. And then this video game audition came up. Now I, I had been doing a lot of work for Blur you know, Tim Miller, who did uh, Deadpool, yeah, the director of Deadpool, his studio. So 
thankfully, because of, uh, I know, uh, the stunt coordinator, Phil Silvera, um, I was able to do a lot of projects for that company. So I was very familiar with motion capture, doing cinematics and things like that. Um, like Destiny 2 cinematics. This, this, this it's just stuff, right? Uh, Skyrim, the Star Wars, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, I saw that. Stuff. I saw you were in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I was familiar with how to do uh, to mocap, you know, and and to this day, you know, it's kind of my bread and butter now, like my, you know, my survival job. I'm very blessed to have it, right? It's it's awesome to work in it. And so this other video game audition comes up, um, and my manager, I got it, and she said, you know, it's this is great. It's for an Asian character. They're, they said, <laughs> uh, think. Think the bad guy from Rush Hour, you know, he had Ken Ken Lung. He had like blonde hair. He had a black suit. He was cool. He had an accent, uh, and he was very mean and like sinister. And so they said, "Hey, all right, go in for this video game audition." They didn't tell us what it was for. They didn't uh, even say yeah. it was for Marvel. That was, that was the question yeah. I was going to ask if the, if you knew like who the character was. No, yeah, not at all. They just said, "All right," and they gave us a scene that was not even in the video game it was just a, a scene that i think test our acting range right it was a really well written scene it was like three or four pages uh we were on a rooftop and i had a bunch of hostages and i had to uh basically be on the phone with the with the hostage negotiators and you know threaten these hostages and then speak chinese to my henchmen and then speak english to the hostages so there's a lot of like back and forth of the language too. And so uh, I was super excited about it because it was just a really cool, meaty role. So, and, so uh, that scene seems to be similar to that, uh, uh, to the scene in Grand Central Station. Yes, and, and it's very similar to the Grand Central Station scene, but there was also a scene that was uh, retweaked when, when we initially started filming where we kind of had like Mr. Negative do like a hostage thing with uh, the dragon's breath. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like totally different looking. Like, I don't know if Insomniac is going to get mad at me for saying this. But <laughs> yeah, like initially when they were testing it out, he was, he had a different look. Like he was still my face, but then they had done some scarring to it. Uh, they had just kind of made my face a little more, um, I guess, evil looking, you know, like overtly. Yeah, like over, and like he was very punk, you know. Uh, oh, cool. And so, yeah, it was very different than uh, the, uh, you know, the final suit, right? Which is definitely more like the comic book. But like, yeah. if you see the art book, yeah, if you see the Spider-Man PS4 art book, they show one of the early designs where Mr. Negative had like a white leather jacket with a black hoodie and he had like kind of a faux hawk going. And uh, so that's kind of what we looked like. And so the scene was very similar to that. And basically at the end of the scene, uh, I had to like slit a guy's throat, you know, and uh, we had, you know, a rubber knife or whatever, but we were just in it, man. And my, my scene partner, Walt, uh, who is also a fantastic mocap actor, uh, he was reading with us and I got to, you know, I killed him at the end. And I was just like so into the role. <laughs> and by the way, like I was the first guy to go in. Which for me, that's always very helpful because I always like, you know, when I when I go in an audition, I don't like to see the competition, right? I just want to like do my thing. So I went in, I went in super early, so like nobody was there, and I was like, okay, all right, I'm calm. I came in with like a black suit with a black uh, shirt, you know, a white pocket square, which is a little bit closer to the you know the comic book version. And I didn't even know who this guy was, and I went in and I was like, okay, I'm calm, I'm cool, let's do the scene. We did the scene, and at the end, like, I, you know, I killed Walt, and then I was so happy with the scene. All right, I didn't mess up any other words. <laughs> I feel like I did a good job. They said, all right, and cut. Right as I said cut, I threw the knife, the rubber knife on the floor. I jumped in the air, and I said, I defy you to find a better actor. That's right. <laughs> Which I've never said in my life. <laughs> And I was like, that's how it's done. Woo! And I said, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I just got a little bit excited. And I think, you know, by the, you know, by their grace of the Insomniac, you know, uh, a team, 
<laughs> the creatives, they indulged me and they just, they all laughed. You know, it was like, oh, thank God they laughed. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a huge sigh of relief. Yeah. And I, and I guess they saw a couple of other people after that. Uh, but, you know, ultimately I got the role. So yeah, there you go. Cool. So was it only yeah. one scene that you uh, auditioned with? Yes, it was the one scene. It was a, but it was a long scene. It was like I said, it was like four pages, um, but it was a good scene. Uh, and yeah, they just liked what they saw. So, and then I didn't hear from them for like three months. Oh, wow. and I was like, well, okay, I guess I didn't get that part, right? Yeah, and I, then I've seen that is like a common occurrence. Like, uh, just for example, there was a guy who uh, he, he was like the showrunner for the Spectacular Spider-Man show, which was like right. after it was like right after spider-man 3 uh yeah so it was right around that time and he like went in for the interview for it and he didn't hear back from sony or marvel for like like 10 months yeah and, and then yeah, someone yeah. came up to him at a party he's like hey you got the spider-man gig are you excited right wait what so yeah right it was straight up 10 months he like completely forgotten about it yeah <laughs> oh i have the job now it's exactly <laughs> I don't know why they operate like that. They like to keep people in suspense. But yeah, I mean, and even after I got the job, uh, you know, they said, I didn't know how big of a deal it was. You know, they said, oh, it's, you know, PS4, it's Spider-Man. I thought, oh, that's cool. You know, cool. All right. I know people like Spider-Man. I know they like the games. But I had forgotten that they hadn't made a Spider-Man game for a couple, you know, many years in between the, whatever, the last iteration and then the PS4. Oh, yeah, yeah. They uh, this was definitely the biggest like game launch for a Spider-Man game I've seen, uh, right? In a long time like I mean there were a couple uh, Xbox 360 games, but this was like the first like actual you know they had some for the Amazing Spider-Man movies, but they weren't that good. But this was like right. the first like high quality like next generation game they made. So yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, and it was all original, right? By Insomniac partnering up with Marvel, which was so I had no idea it was gonna be this big all right and then like so imagine my surprise when yeah it's announced and everybody's just f flipping out i had yeah, no idea the e3 trailer right yes i, I had just i and I, I think well well that first e3 trailer i don't think they had mr negative right or did they no they didn't it was just spider-man going into the building and then he, a lot of like some some gameplay footage where he's like Flipping on cars and stuff like that. I believe, the, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they kind of switched you out in the game eventually. But uh, it ends with, uh, you know, Spider-Man going into the helicopter and then you grab him. And it shows like, oh, a close-up of your face. You know what it was? I remember the first E3 trailer, they did have me, but they put a mask. It was a demon mask. Yeah. It was in the car. Boom, right? And it was all that. And I was like... I was a little disappointed because I was like, ah, oh, I want them to see my face. Yeah. Right? I guess and then the second trailer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then the second trailer is when they did the, the full on, like, Mr. Negative on the rooftop where he goes, and then Spider Man goes through the helicopter. And then, uh, yeah, and I grab him at the end. And I was nervous about that, though, dude, because I was like, I had no idea what the reception, man, YouTubers. YouTubers are rough, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So I was, yeah, I was very nervous that they were going to be like, who is this, who is this Asian guy in a suit? Who is, who is this Randall Park? I get that a lot. They're like, you look like Randall Park. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> but that's fine. You know, I was very worried that they were just going to be, you know, hating on Mr. Negative. And there were a few comments, you know, let's just be real, where they were like, okay, so it's just a silver guy who's Asian with a sword. Nah, right? So, yeah. I mean, I was, whenever someone's not familiar with, uh, like, a certain character, there's bound to be right. just people just jumping to conclusions. Like, Yeah, exactly. I mean, and, you know, fair play to Marvel and Insomniac for even going with Mr. Negative. Because when I got the role, and again, ho hopefully I'm not spilling too many inside business secrets, but when <laughs> I got the role, you know, they had said, oh, you know, uh, Jacinda Chu, the lead art director, said, "You know, you you're you're going to be like the 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 intro boss, kind of like Kingpin, yeah, to like help the player learn how to fight, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll be done, right? And then for some reason, they just made the character grow and grow and grow because I think within the story they really like the Doc Ock." spoiler alert, whatever, and then, <laughs> you know, 
Uh, oh, yeah, all the, that, game, right? the like, game came out a year ago. The game yeah. came out a year ago. If you haven't played, that's on you, man. Yeah, exactly. So I think it fit with their theme of relationships, right? And, and intimate relationships with Peter Parker in his daily life and Peter Parker in his superhero life. And they just thought, okay, wait a minute. We have an opportunity to have like two of these cool characters. So uh, I was shocked too. that Because I honestly went in the first couple of reads being like, okay, so I'll, I'll be in here for a week. Right. And then it turned into a two year, two and a half. Oh, hold up. Two and a half year shoot. You know what I mean? Wow. So two years. Yeah. That's incredible. Two years. Yeah, exactly. So, wow. yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I really digged the, you know, the whole dynamic. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Two seconds. This is hilarious. Hold on a second. I'm hearing you. I just have to, talk to you, this person who my girl she keeps calling all right hold on podcast i got you dog i got you all right we're back yo here we go all right gotcha okay gotcha yeah <laughs> uh so yeah. i really yeah i really dug the uh you know that insomniac was focused on you know telling a peter parker story as well as a spider-man story they you know yeah they they uh, the way that brian antar said it was uh the best Spider-Man stories is when you know his worlds collide. So, exactly. Even if like, like if Doc Ock was the only one where it was like that, but they had right. negative on top of that, just made it so much better. Right. I mean, Sinister Six. Right. I mean, that was that Ooh. was a fun scene. Oh, oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I initially thought that Mister Negative was going to be the main bad guy, but then you know it just kept getting better. With Doc. yeah. Well, you know the the. The selfish actor in me wanted to be the only one. Yeah, I the bet. selfish actor in me was like, "Come on!" And that was kind of annoying. Some of the some <laughs> of the creatives, I was like, "Hey, why doesn't Mister Negative just get one more punch in there? How about he just..." And they're like, "Look, Steven, you got the first third of the game. It's all you." They literally said that. They're like, "Okay, you can calm down." I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> so yeah, yeah self promoted. Sprinkled throughout the end. So I mean, yeah, you had, a kid, yeah. you had a good bit. Uh, yeah. Did you improvise anything? Did I improvise anything? Let's see. Well, I mean, it's been a while since I remember. I mean, all of the sword stuff uh, was pretty improvised. Um, what else? Uh, you know, we stuck, we hewed pretty closely to the script. Definitely. The, I mean, the script, uh, I think John Paquette had said it was like 3,000 pages. You yeah. know what I mean? So, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I read so, that. <laughs> Yeah, so some of the things that we played around with, obviously, are blocking and just, like, how we're saying certain things and the, the intention for some of these things. Yeah, but generally, most of the improv really came from, like, the action stuff, you know? Like, they let us play around, especially the subway fight scene. And they were like, hey, all right, you all have stun experience, you know? Uh, the Spider-Man's double Ross concept, who's, like, an amazing tricker acrobat you know they get us in and they say okay what do you want to do and we're like all right well let's bash each other through the wall <laughs> punch him a couple times like this so that was really and then especially the sinister six cinematic uh on the top of the raft prison where that was just like that was an incredible day we're like was like everyone there yes everybody oh, was wow. there and we're wow. all kicking the living snot out of I think it was, yeah, it was out of Ross. And then uh, Yuri's also on the side, you know, making the faces and the noises. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then he even, and I think Yuri even got a little bit on the ground too, crawling. <laughs> and so, so we all. Were you guys and, actually like kicking him? Uh, not, no, because, you know, we're professionals. So we yeah. kick lightly. <laughs> we make a little tap, but we're yeah. all right. You know, yeah, we don't, we don't, there's that, yeah. you know, when he's down, you guys, I think someone kicked him or something. Yes, yes. I think I kick him, and then Rhino kicks him. Yeah, yeah. It's it was pretty brutal. It was dope. So yeah, yeah. That sounds really cool. Um, so, how long did you ever tell anyone about you know you having the role, or how long did you have to wait? Oh for yeah. Someone? Oh no no no! I told everybody, man. I told <laughs> everybody. <laughs> but see, here's the thing: nobody knew who I was, so I was like. You know, especially to my friends, right? I was like, you know, they're not on 
Instagram or YouTube or anything. So I said, yeah, I'm doing a video game. Uh, you know, I'm Mr. Negative. I'm fighting Spider-Man. But don't tell anybody. Who the heck is Mr. Negative, right? Exactly. Yeah. That, like, that it feels like, fun. yeah, I'm the Vulture. It's like, oh, oh, you're the Vulture? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Get on Twitter, you know, and spoil <laughs> that. But yeah, That's so stoop. I said... Yeah, exactly. So I say, oh, I'm Mr. Negative. Yeah, no, I tell people all the time, I am very bad at NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope Insomniac doesn't see this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, so how long from the point you got the role did, like, did it come out that you were Mr. Negative and you could, like, openly talk about it on, like, social media? Right, well, that, that was all the way until the second... E3 trailer, right? Or I guess there was the first E3 trailer, and then there was the second one after that. So it was uh, seriously, it was two years. And even after that trailer had come out, we still spent, I think, six months or something, or three, three or four months, still shooting stuff. Wow. You know? So yeah, so I I could not tell, you know, I couldn't put that on my resume. That was very annoying. Because <laughs> you know, I want casting directors to know who I am. This is Marvel. You know, it's oh, a I'm Marvel. Sure they know now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, it was yeah. like just recently, actually. It passed uh, Batman: Arkham uh, City. I think it was one of the Arkham. Yes. Games. It passed it as the number one selling superhero game. And listen, I got much love for Batman. Okay, so I know all the people. <laughs> ah, Spider Man, Batman. Eh, you know, we can all coexist. But yes, it is very cool. And it's very, even very more cool. impressive because, you know, it's a PS4 exclusive. Yes, that is, yeah, that was insane to me as well. Absolutely. All right, so, uh, so you know, Mr. Negative was pretty unknown before this. So what was it like to uh, bring this character to life to, like, people who hadn't ever heard of him before? And how did, like, seeing the reception to it, how did... It was stressful. That's yeah. what it was. <laughs> Every day I went and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get fired. Oh, and especially the way, like, Brian Intar is an amazing, everybody is nice, right? Everybody's amazing at Insomniac. I got very spoiled working with them um, because they're very collaborative and they're very supportive and they're very positive and they're just generally good people. But every time we were doing my scenes, Brian would be in the corner and he'd watch and he'd kind of be deadpan. And then we'd be done. And if we didn't do it again, or if we did it again, he'd have the same face. <laughs> okay. And he'd walk away. And I was like, uh, okay. Uh, so every day I was like, am I getting fired? And every, I have a saying, they can't fire you if they can't catch you. So every day after work would end, I would just run. I would oh, get wow. out of the suit the fastest. <laughs> I'd be out. I would not talk to people. I'd be like, okay, cool. So, uh, other than that, you know, it was an amazing experience. It was so fun. I mean, every day we went in, we were playing superheroes versus supervillains. And Yuri's the nicest guy, too. There's no divas on set. If anything, I was the biggest diva. <laughs> you know, I want my peeled grapes and my M&Ms and my bottled water and my coffee. Uh, so, yeah, we, we all became really good friends. And, I mean, just playing around with... You know, every role, you know, because a lot of us did cross, uh, like, we, we jumped roles, too. So, like, you know, I might be Mr. Negative, but I'm also, like, henchman number five. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, or I'll be, you know, kingpin soldier number two or whatever, whatever. So, like, or pedestrian. So, it was just, like, you never knew what you were going to do. You're just, it was, like, an, an entire eight hours of just improv games. It was yeah. summer camp. It was the funnest, one of the funnest experiences of my life. And then the reception was just, like I said, again, I was very nervous once the second trailer came out and I was looking through YouTube comments. Oh, I was looking at every one of them like, oh, okay, who's going to hate? Who's going to hate? I had a list. And then, uh, and then when the game comes out, right, and people are playing it, and then people are saying, oh, Mr. Neg Mr. Negative is cool, right? Like, obviously they love Will Salyers as Doc Ock. Obviously, they love all the other Sinister Six guys, right? But then the people that were, you know, talking about Mr. Negative, they, man, they really brightened my day, you know? I mean, as actors, we kind of, we're insecure, right? So we thrive off of 
people's yeah. positive comments, right? <laughs> so when I see things like on Reddit or whatever, you know, even if there's only like two comments, there's two people in the world besides my mom and dad who like me, you know what I mean? I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So do so you like, was, did you browse the, the Spider-Man PS4 subreddit? You know what? I should, as a cool guy, say no and play it cool. But I'm just going to be honest with you, James. It's all good. <laughs> Hell yes. Every yeah, I love, day I'm looking through that, man. I love that you subreddit, know? yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I was looking, I, you know, because I get a kick out of seeing what people like about the game, too. You know, because we spent, like I said, two and a half, three years working on it to see people's reactions for, for other things, you know, for Taskmaster, for Black Cat, for all these other characters to just see how they feel about certain parts. I'm like, yes, that is, that makes me feel like validated that, you know, we, we, we did work really hard on this game. So we're just very happy that people like it. Yeah. And yeah. I think the only like adaptation before this, like the that Mr. Negative was in, was the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon that uh, ran from like 2012 to like yes something. But I mean, right. only like maybe some like you know just a couple kids or something saw exactly, it. and they didn't really go that right. deep into his character or anything. So I mean, right, you're pretty much the first yeah. one to like really bring him to life. Yeah, absolutely. And I really enjoyed their take. I enjoyed Insomniac's take on. On this, because obviously it strayed uh, in in certain parts from the comic book, but you know the comic book origin. Because I think in the comic book origin, he he is like a refugee from a boat, you know, like a like a shipwreck. You know, he gets smuggled into America, joins a gang, and then you know gets the the serum injected into him, uh, which is cool too. But I felt like this insomniac take on it was very relatable to me because i think the insomniac take was that he was obviously chinese american but you know he grew up uh in both well he grew up in china then he comes to america and he's just like doing his best you know what i mean he's doing his best i love that he was part of i love how they tied it into norman osborne that that norman was the reason why he had the serum. I, I just thought it was cool. It made for a more, I, I, I think, uh, for me, a relatable backstory to play off of. Like, revenge is a great Shakespearean, you know, motivation. I just love that. When I found out that, oh, his parents were killed in an accident and that Mr. Negative devoted the rest of his life to basically getting vengeance for that. I just... I just thought that is really cool. Yeah, it, especially just with your character as well. I mean, Insomniac did a great job of, you know, taking stuff from the comics and just kind of like uh, morphing it into their narrative or whatever. Because, uh, I mean, if they had gone exactly beat for beat with the comics, it would have not have been as impactful because, you know, it twists, uh, it it was intertwined with, with you know, Norman Osborn and then right and, and everything. Like... I I honestly prefer uh, your portrayal of uh, oh thanks <laughs> over the comics. I mean, he's really cool in the comics. Still not I'm right, not alive, but I mean, I really really liked uh, like the story, the acting, like everything. I thought I thought it was really good. yeah. I mean, they Brian's take on it was very cool too because you know initially we didn't really know specifically you know how Martin Lee even talked. Like, did he have an accent? Right? Does he talk like he's from China, or does he just speak like I do? And they were like, "No, no, no. We like, we like how you talk." Because I, I asked them, I was like, "So you want an accent or not?" Because I did the audition with an accent. They're like, "We like how you talk." And then with the Martin Lee stuff, they said, "No, no. We really like how you were in the audition. Like you're so funny. You know what I mean? You're so nice. Do more of that." Brian would say that. He'd be like, "Be more of that." And I was like, "Oh, that, that's cool." So then that gave me some place to go when I was being Mr. Negative. Mm -hmm. So that felt really good to do as well. And it just gave me so much meat to chew on every time because one day I'd go in and I'm like, all right, I'm going to have a great, quiet, nice scene between, you know, Peter Parker and myself. And another day I'd be like, oh no, this is, I'm 
now going to murder your partner. <laughs> you know? And another scene, like one of my favorite scenes is in the hallway where it's like with, with Aunt May and Peter has left my office. Mm-hmm. And we're doing a hello, one of my Peter, favorite you know, scenes in the game. I love that. The two yeah. Of it's so good. Yeah. I just, like just playing up the creep factor. You know, <laughs> that was so fun to do. <laughs> and to like just stare death rays at Yuri, you know, and, and like that was just while Nancy is just <laughs> Canada being on the side. That was so fun. That was such a fun day. Yeah. So that was do, definitely- you re- do you remember what the accent was like? Like, could you do it for us? Oh, well now it's like a, co- a comedian being put on the spot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <You remember? laughs> what is my accent? Like my accent was, uh, Oh gosh. Well, tell me, tell, give me a line. Give me something to say. Uh, I'll just, uh, there's the line from the, uh, from the Sinister Six scene. He's like, right. remember he told us not to kill him. Oh gosh. Okay. This is going to be terrible, but here it comes. All right. Here it comes. <laughs> Acting time. Remember, he told us not to kill him. Oh, That's, I like it. Yeah. 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 It's got kind of a, yeah. Yeah. I like that accent. Yeah. You know, so like one of the, one of the lines from the audition was, I had to like go up to one of the hostages and say like, so beautiful, right? <laughs> and then like slit their throat. And then I look and I say, anyone else, right? And it's like, oh, okay, wow. so that's kind of, so it was a little bit more like that. That's what it sounded like. As opposed to, hello, Peter, right? Yeah. <laughs> so did you right. uh, do any research on uh, Mr. Negative once you found out who he was? Yeah, I read the original dance lot. I mean, the the first couple i didn't read too many of the issues because they had said that they were kind of doing their own take on it but i definitely wanted to see uh at least the first two or three issues and you know where he's in chinatown and i mean it it was cool because i saw okay the dude is good with a sword you know he can fight and he's got a bad attitude right uh and it was helpful to see kind of his posture and how it, how he was looking at people. But again, I mean, the biggest thing for me was just accent or no accent. And I just didn't know. I was like, I don't know. You know, because you're reading the comic book. I was like, I don't know. It could be anything, man. And even, yeah. as you said, his first appearance in the cartoon, he had, a, sorry, he had an accent, right? So I was like, I just, I don't know. So we just kind of went in and we played with it. Um, and I'm glad that they allowed me to kind of you closer to myself i mean i'm i'm just so thankful they even used my face because you know with mocap like it could have been anything it could have made me look like a giraffe um (laughs) and so for me it's just it's i i feel very proud to have like this this out there forever you know what i'm saying it's like okay that that's me basically you know the nice and the bad like that's that's all me this is very cool they didn't have to do that so. Yeah, there was, I mean, if I tried to like look into who did what and it's right. really complicated sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like there's only a couple where it's like, I know what, uh, uh, Nancy Lenari did all of Aunt May's stuff. Yes. Right. Uh, right. But like MJ and Felicia and. Yes. Right. Uh, right. They were all like three different people. Right. Uh, I know that right. Doc Ock was all the same guy. Yes. Will, Will and, uh, yeah, Norman Osborne as well. Yeah. They, Norman. So all the baddies were ourselves, which is like, that's a very cool, you know, very, very cool of Insomniac. Yeah. Because that takes a lot of money to scan us, you know? Yeah. They I could bet. just. <laughs> so, yeah. So how many stuntmen were there for Spider-Man? Oh, like, like doubles for Spider-Man. Yeah, because yeah, uh... I know, I know, I was trying to think of how many people were Spider-Man. I know it was uh, Yuri, it was Jack yeah. Bubniak was the face. And then yes. there was at least one stunt guy. Oh yeah, so Ross is our was our main uh, stunt double and incredible. And then we have Seth Austin, who is also like Ross, uh, you know, tricker, acrobat, karate guy. And then we even had Matt Mullins come in. Matt Mullins is like a he is a stunt coordinator for Runaways, actually. Oh, cool. um, yeah, and is also a talented karate and stunt performer in his own right. We also had like for I think two days one of the original. Uh, Raimi doubles really? uh, as a double. Ilram Choi, who was actually my uh, kind of 
first in into the business. So he's like Korean American stunt guy, a little bit older than me, but uh, he was, uh, yeah, he was there like I think on day one, but then he had to like go uh, away to do a movie project coordinating. So that, that's already like four, and then um, yeah, I think those were like that. But it was like definitely Ross and Seth. Those were like the main dudes doing all the flips and tricks. And then I'm not gonna lie, even I got in it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they use any of the stuff, but yeah, there there'll be days where you know they'll need. Spider-Man to do some moves, some evasions, you know, like gameplay, in-gameplay moves or whatever. And so they'd say, all right, they'd line like four of us up. You know, even uh, there's also Noshir, Noshir Dalal, also a great actor and stunt guy. Um, and then we'd all just line up and do our best move and see if they used it. So hopefully they use one of my moves. I'm sure know. they used at least one. Yeah. You can also yeah. <laughs> put on IMDb that you were Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, I know I did the sword stuff for Taskmaster, so there you go. Oh, so there you're you also go. Taskmaster. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, see, that was what was cool about Taskmaster, is like, he was an amalgam of all four or five of us. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. So there'd be some stuff. Yeah, because what they would do is they'd split us up by combat, like, okay, you have no weapons. You have, uh, you know, a sword. You have a dagger. You have a machine gun. And then we would have to do a move set. So, you know, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, while you were, you know, performing the mocap, did they, yeah. like, how much of the story did you know while you're doing it like that day? Did they like give you the whole like script for the scene or did they like block oh, right. certain lines? Oh yeah. So, well, we did a first read through, uh, where it was a hundred something page script. And so we had a good idea of the overall, story and then the big beats you know beginning middle end and the big set pieces okay like, so you had a uh, yeah idea. yeah absolutely and then when we would film uh you know the script was changing every day they had all, all the stuff but but the basic premise was still there you know the yeah. basic idea and the basic shape was there so we had a pretty good idea we knew where it was going absolutely yeah. So yeah. they're just smoothing it out on, on the dialogue. Yeah, trying out different dialogue, you know, um, seeing which lines work better. Uh, but again, generally, the overall story, we all kind of had a pretty good picture of how it was going to play out. So uh, you've worked on a bunch of games, of course. So does this did this game, like, differ from any other games that you've worked on? Yeah. I got, like I said, I got spoiled, man. Everybody's so <laughs> nice. Ain't no divas on set. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've worked on some projects where there's some divas. And again, usually it's me. <laughs> but like, it, yeah, it was also interesting because we had a lot of time. We had a lot of time. And so at least that's what it felt like. I know the animation team was probably crunching. But it felt like they really uh, were careful with how everything was. And I don't mean like scared careful, I just mean like like artists. They mm -hmm. wanted it to be the best. And I'm not even saying that as propaganda. I'm like serious, everybody was just so in love with the project. It was, you know, there are some projects where we're mercenaries, right? And we're just like, I, I'm here, where I'm a cowboy, I'm ready to get my money. If I never <laughs> see you people again in my life, I'll be okay, <laughs> right? But, but this was like a family, you know? Um, so that's, that's definitely how it differed. And also again, the, just how collaborative it was, because there are, there are some, uh, games that I've worked on where, man, the, uh, the creatives, they know, they know what they want and they don't want anyone to say anything. Right. But this yeah. was like, if you had a good idea, throw it out, you know, yeah, and even so if it's terrible, yeah, yeah. And even if it's terrible, they'll be kind. They won't be rude and say you suck. You know, I've had many terrible ideas that I threw at them, and they were very patient. So. <laughs> do you remember any of them that they didn't take? Uh, no, do I remember any of the ideas that didn't take? Uh, let's see. Well, like I said, I <laughs> I think at the end of the game, I was like, I think Mr. Negative should uh, not get beaten by <laughs> Doggone. <laughs> they were like. 
really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think I should team up with Spider-Man. And, you know, then if Doc Ock beats me, cool. But at least let me get one punch on yeah. the Doc Ock. You know, I, I think he had enough screen time. You're okay, Steven. So that was definitely one of the big ones that didn't take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, selfish actor, you know. So uh, what about the character did you find was interesting? Oh, man. Uh, well, I, what I loved was that he was not just a straight-up villain. That's what I love. I love that. And I also love that he had a sad backstory. You know, I was like, okay, anything to get the audience on my side yeah. is nice. Because, look, I knew I was going to lose, you know, but I, but I didn't want to go out so bad that, uh, you know, I wanted something redeeming. And, and I love that he had a redemption story. Almost. He was this close. <laughs> he was this close, you know? But that, that's what I love. Um, and also, I just love the fact that they allowed me to do my kung fu, but also not be kind of cliche, you know, not be like stereotypical. So that was great. I, I was doing kung fu with superpowers. I was like a kung fu wizard, which is not something you see too many times. You know, yeah, I that's neat. Power and I get kung fu. Yeah, so, I love uh, that. So, which actors did you work with on like the mocap stage? Uh, all of them. All of them. Literally all of them. Yeah. Name one. I worked with them. Cool. So, like, yeah. <laughs> everyone you like shared a scene with. Yep. Even like scenes that Mr. Negative wasn't necessarily in, like maybe yeah, uh, right or something. Yeah, because. Uh, yeah, because I'd be a pedestrian or I'd be a hostage or whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah, I worked with all of them. They're all amazing. They're all very cool. cool. Let's see. Who sucked? One of them <laughs> sucked, though. <laughs> There's always one that sucks. Oh, I guess that's me. Damn it. No. <laughs> uh, so have you played the game? Yes, I'm terrible at it. Uh, okay. I'm so bad. I cannot swing worth a damn yeah i keep splatting into walls i'm like okay you you want to watch me play it's spider-man running on the street everywhere he goes <laughs> it's not a good look it is not a good look at all and then i just purposely try to lose to mr negative because like i want to oh. take pictures i want to take pictures of mr negative beating spider-man so that i can like put on an instagram so yeah, yeah. there you go <laughs> i don't think i'm playing the game right is all i'm trying to say <laughs> You wanted yeah. uh, Mr. Negative to be a playable character. Exactly. exactly. Oh, oh uh, also a little bragging. I also was Kingpin's mocap. I mean, Travis was obviously doing the mo most of the motion, but in the action stuff. That was me, baby. Really? Yeah. Yes. So all his punches, kicks, all that stuff. Yeah, man. That was me. Who, th who knew I could move like such a big dude? Mm -hmm. So it's like your Taskmaster because you're playing all these villains. I, I, <laughs> right. I think that was what was great about the project. You know, they let all of us play all of these villains. You know what I mean? So, like I said, there was a lot of cross-pollination amongst all of the people. You know, even the Spider-Man doubles, like I said. Ross, he played like all these people. It was crazy. So, yeah. Oh, Miles, right? We all love Miles. Oh, yeah. That was great, too. That was surprising to me. That was very surprising to me. I was like, oh, they got Miles Morales. Insomniac. Yeah, I heard, uh, I, I was listening to an interview that Brian Intar did, and he said that, like, he was one of the later elements added to it. And right. I, I thought that was a like, great addition to it, so. Yeah. Yes. I got a little jealous of Miles, I'm not going to lie. Because once the trailer came out, and everybody was like, Miles is in this. <laughs> I was like, hey, 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 great, great, great. I know he's cool. But what about the guy that turns negative, huh? Ah. Yeah. No, but Miles is great. Najee's an amazing actor. He was so fun. Yeah, so he was another too. one that it was all him, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely all him. And yeah, he's great. He's so down to earth, too. I was like, ah, oh, this superstar kid. Because, you know, he voices him in the cartoons, too. I was like, ah, but he did not have an attitude, so that was great. Awesome. Nancy also voices uh, Aunt May, right, in a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did hear that, yes. Yes, and then Yuri voiced Spider-Man again in the uh, Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's a uh, man. When that commercial, he also played him in like a pinball game a couple years ago. So he's like, oh, that's, he's done him a few times. So. That's fantastic. Oh, you know what was great when the other Spider Man, what's his name, who played Electro? Oh, Josh Keaton. Josh Keaton, also an amazingly nice guy. When Josh was there on set, it was just like, oh, this is great. We got two Spider Mans. Yeah, you know? when I was talking about Greg Wiseman earlier, how he waited so long for that uh, job, that was the right. that Josh was Spider Man. Uh, yes, right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of we funny and strange coincidences on that shoot like and again the biggest one was yuri married to yuri yes <laughs> that's one of my favorites it's like, like yuri talking to yuri yes and so when yuri. you say yuri yeah you see both of them turn and it's like oh, oh god that was crazy that was amazing yeah it's like yuri himself is talking to the character yuri it's kind of yeah kind of funny how that works and it and yuri happens to be his wife also yes Yes, kind of funny. It was just, I just thought it was ridiculous. Amazing, amazing. What are the odds? Yeah. See, so that's another way that this video game differed. I mean, you know, they, they talk about the cliche of like lightning in a bottle, but it really, it really was. I mean, there's so many things about this game that are so different than any other uh, video game experience that I've been on. It's just really special. I definitely felt that while I was playing it, so. Yeah. So uh, you worked for Marvel before, uh, like we talked. Um, you uh, you were in Thor and uh, Runaways. So how was that compared to this? Well, those were very short. <laughs> that's, that's how it compared. You know, like Runaways was great because it was in LA as well, and it was a couple episode arc. But um, you know, I I guess it, and Thor also. Thor was great because that was one of the first Marvel superhero movies, you know? Mm -hmm. I was eating, I was in the craft lunch line with Sir Anthony Hopkins. Wow. And, you know, Chris Hemsworth is there, you know, and I had worked with him on Red Dawn before, but he didn't remember me because I was just like playing Korean soldier number five or whatever, right? But we had no idea Thor would later on go on to be the amazing superstar hit that he is today um it's all because so of that you. was a very oh thank you you know <laughs> that, that, yeah, that was... uh, your, your death is what catapulted <laughs> I, I, it to yeah, box if, office exactly success. If I, exactly if i die in one of those movies you know it's gonna be great so it's kind of like the stanley yeah. cameo it's like that's the thing exactly. For it. <laughs> exactly is steven gonna die in this movie yes you know um yeah that those were cool but I think because it, I was playing little parts, I didn't feel a, a big connection to them. Obviously, you know, I'm this insomnia just like completely different level, and I kind of have yet to even reach that level again. It's like I feel, like I said, spoiled or uh, you know, I peaked. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, there's other cool things coming up. But it's like that was such a amazing experience. That yeah, maybe we'll see in the sequel. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah. I hope there's a sequel. Yeah, come on. <laughs> or a spinoff. I don't know. Whatever. We'll Any word on that? Uh, you probably can't say anything, but I mean, right? Man, there was so that was the game of that was the game of leaks, wasn't it? I think everybody had a leak. Oh yeah. And Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> everybody had a leak. I was guilty of a leak too. Everybody had a leak, man. Everybody had a big leak. So yeah, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm try I'm setting my eyes on on these Marvel movies, man, these other ones, Shang-Chi, whatever, Eternal, oh, yeah. come on, hook a brother up. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like Asian's time now, man. It's like they're giving roles to just random Asians on the street. Yeah. Like, are you Asian? If yeah. If you come be in our movie. Be in, like a big role, that would be the one. <laughs> but they already gave it to Simu, so God bless him. Yeah. I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> So, uh, of all the scenes you did, uh, was there one that stood out as your favorite? I mean, besides the hallway scene, right? I mean, oh, you know what was great? Was doing the second to last scene with Norman Osborn. And I had the sword. And I burned his neck. And I said, you don't help people. Right? You use them. That was delightful. That was very fun. 
that was where I could just be totally, purely angry, badass. That was really fun. And then the one that sticks out for me, one of my favorite scenes was the subway fight. I really enjoyed doing that. You know, when I'm punching Spider-Man, I'm like, I can't believe I'm punching Spider-Man. We could see playback uh, of our avatars, basically. And I'm watching, I'm like, I cannot believe that I am punching Spider-Man in the face right now. So that was, those are the scenes that stick out to me. Uh, so, uh, what was your like ex- uh, exposure to Spider-Man before this game? Well, obviously, I loved all the Raimi movies, except for number three. <laughs> <laughs> Although, now that I watch number three, I'm like, okay, it's not as bad as I, as I remember it. But yeah, all the Raimi movies. Were, yeah, I mean, those were fantastic. I was in... I was in school when one and two came out and I just remember watching one over and over on DV, DVD when that came out. But when I was a kid, I originally had like one of these comic books that had a record player, like a record in it that would have the voices. So you would, li- you would read along to these actors, uh, you know, acting out the comic book and it was a Spider-Man comic book. And that was like the only one of those I ever had, and I listened to that thing every day, and I drew in the comic book, and I specifically, weirdly, even to this day, I remember this picture of Joe, uh, Jay, uh, Jonah Jameson, right? And I remember drawing like these, he was so angry, he was like, I'll get you, Spider-Man, and I just drew these red eyes uh, <laughs> on his, uh, these red crayons on his eyes, and for some reason, that image still sticks out to me. And it was, a, it was an issue where he was fighting Scorpion. I just remember that, and it was, uh, the storyline was that Scorpion thought that he couldn't get his costume off of him. So he like tried to get the costume off, but he couldn't. So he thought it was melded to him. And so he went crazy. And then Oh, he... so it's kind of like uh, Rhino in the game. You know? Yes, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, only it was Scorpion. And I remember, yeah, that affected me greatly. <laughs> I don't know if it traumatized <laughs> me, but I still, to this day, I'm like, oh, man. Like, I just remember... Th- the clothes being uncomfortable. And when I was younger, I wanted to be a comic book artist all the way through high school, all the way into college. And so, you know, the two characters I constantly drew were Spider-Man because he's got one of the coolest costumes, if not the coolest costume in all of comic book dumb, right? So Spider-Man and Batman, those are my guys. So, like uh, so which like artist did you take most inspiration from? Jim Lee, man. Jim Lee. And then J. Scott Campbell, uh, later, I was like, I liked him as well. Uh, but then Jim, like, oh, I hope I'm not burning bridges by telling my opinion. But have you <laughs> noticed that Jim Lee kind of, when J. Scott Campbell came out, Jim Lee kind of started cribbing from him a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? It was the yeah. like Gen 13 days and image. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, right? And I, and I remember thinking to myself, like, come on, Jim! <laughs> you're the guy that you're the guy that has your distinct style, but you know. So now he's kind of got a blend of both, which is cool. And J. Scott Campbell has this thing, but you know who my favorite artist of all time is? Uh, Travis Terrace. Is that how you pronounce his last name? Uh, what? I can't. That, that name. Oh, right man, now. look at his stuff, Travis Karras, Uh He did Wildcats, an image. Okay. Way yeah, back yeah. in 99, right? Gotcha. And like when Jim Lee kind of got sick of drawing. But his style is so unique and it's almost like photorealistic in a way, but also very stylized. And I think now, I don't, I don't know if he's still doing it. I haven't seen a comic book in ages um, because I'm lazy. But that, those, are, those are my guys, man, for sure. Those are awesome. my guys. What about you? Who do you like? Uh, my favorite's Ron Friends. He uh, he was on a uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Like he was, or it was around when the black suit was first introduced. Oh yeah, yeah. So he was yeah, around yeah. that era, and he he drew a good bit of those issues when he like had the black costume. So right, he took a lot of stuff from Steve Ditko. You know, Spider-Man. Oh yeah, yeah. So he basically yes. just like modernized Ditko's style, and I don't know. I just really love that. All right. Yeah, you like the classics. You oh, like yeah, the classics. yeah. I li- you like Ramita? Oh, yeah, like- Ramita's great. I mean, I like Ditko yeah. and Ramita, but I prefer Ditko, but I like Ramita for what he added to it. Yeah. Uh, Ditko kind of drew, you know, some things 
kind of awkward and then Ramia kind of smoothed it over you know yes you know you know who I love is his yeah that's the other guy I love is his son Ramita Jr. Yes. Now, oh, yes. Yeah, now, my him. thing is, my my thing is, he draws everyone the same, but for some reason, like it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man or what, if you're big or small, you, they look the same. But I just love, I, I just love that style. I don't care if everybody looks the same. Yeah, it's I love the style too, and I I love his Spider Man. Like that's one of my favorites. Yes, you know, his Spider Man is yeah. Yes, I remember having this because uh, I used to collect comics when I was younger. But uh, Uncanny X Men, I think it was issue number one hundred or whatever, is a special issue, uh, and it was X Men fighting the acolytes, you know, Mag- Magneto's homeboys or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, I just read that issue over and over. And the way he drew Nightcrawler, I was like, this dude is amazing. I'll yeah, have to so look at could, that issue. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. Nightcrawler in that issue is probably one of the coolest looking Nightcrawlers ever. Yeah. All right. Check it out. Yeah, I'll check yeah, it out. Man. So, yeah. uh, of all the Spider-Man movies, what's your favorite? Oh, including the uh, the amazing ones? Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. See. Any, right. any Spider-Man movie. <laughs> uh, Not counting the see. PS4 cutscene. You could take right, right. <laughs> movie, Thank so. you. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? I have to say, I have to say, like, my initial response is to say the Toby number two, right? Because of the train sequence, like, so incredible, right? But I've probably seen number one way more than I've seen number two. Because that last fight between uh, Spider-Man and Green oh, Goblin gorgeous, is yeah. one of the most brutal fights and like I said, I'm a fight choreography guy, right? So, like, that's one of the most brutal fights I've ever seen put to film. I mean, he is just rocking the crap out of Spider-Man, <laughs> kicking him through walls. And, like, near the end, when he's punching Toby, the way Toby takes hits is, like, you feel, like, Toby, that's the great thing about Toby Spider-Man. He's not afraid to sound weird or weak. Right, like when he get punched and he makes that squealing sound. Like, ah! Yes, right? I love. That. I was like, <laughs> yes, Toby, and because it makes his comeback so much better, and he's so badass with the. That's the first time you saw in a movie, right? The mm-hmm. mask that's like yeah. that, right? And yeah. the blood everywhere. I was like, dude, Raimi, yeah. bring you can Raimi really back. Really feel every punch and yes, just so brutal. And yes, actually, you're talking about uh, him taking hits. When uh, Green Goblin kicks him into the wall, right? Actually, got yes. kicked pretty hard by Willem Dafoe. So uh, see, he got like that's what I'm saying. Out of him, I think. So. That, that's what I'm <laughs> he saying. He legitimately took a hit. So. Yes. Yeah, man. So I, I, I just got. I have to say number one, but I do love number three for, for this. Oh obviously. yeah, the dance. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I remember being in the theaters, being like, "What?" But now I watch it and I go, "Yes, I'm about it." And then. Uh, uh, the uh, eating the pie, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, mm, so good. Like, <laughs> so you funny. know what? I, I do enjoy it. parts of that for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the sequel, you need to, you know, talk to Insomniac. You need to have like a serious, like, if if you come back, you know. I think we you need, need to, to make have one. Mr. Negative. <laughs> he already has the suit. Just let him do that. Have that be. Yeah, just a cameo. Yeah. Just a cameo, yeah. man. Just the adventure. Tell me, I won't. Re- they won't return my phone calls. They're yeah. Done with them. Yeah. yeah you should. Uh, you call. should suggest that. <laughs> exactly. Like exactly. Yeah, man. Any of your uh, followers want tips on how to be an actor or how to get in the business or? Do sure. They not go care? ahead. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. I don't have any tips. You don't have any tips. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of the business. Your competition. That's my tip. <laughs> no, my. I guess my tip would just be to uh have a skill you know and live life because as an actor the worst thing that you can do is like fake things you know when people hold guns and it's like you've clearly never held a gun before in your life you know what i mean it's like come on at least have some authenticity and you know building up any kind of skill helps with confidence you know so if you go into an audition 
and you know how to do woodworking, it's like you have that confidence. Yeah. If all you know how to do is act, you're probably not going to be the most confident person. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. So yeah. have like a specific type of thing. You focus yeah, on. exactly. Exactly. Something you can contribute to the world, you know. Now you give me advice on how to get 100,000 people besides uh, consistency, <laughs> which uh, also is good for acting. Be consistent. Yes. Uh, but yeah, what, what else? Just, uh, the main thing is just, you know, post every day. Post yeah. things that you'd want to see yourself. I mean, this is coming from like a fan page perspective. Right. You know, like what kind of content would you want to see from someone you would follow of hey. that, that is that kind of account? So you have you have good content, man. I'm always like, where do you get all your facts? Oh yeah, but Thank don't you. tell us. Don't tell us the secret because then everybody else will. I always you know, put the source it. in the caption, though. Yeah, I always do. Yeah, yep. I mean, the main answer for that is just research. I right. I mean, you just gotta dig and dig, and if you find something good, dig deeper. You know. Yeah, man. yeah. That's a lot like acting too. Research, research everything. Awesome. Yeah, man. So, uh, how does it feel to have uh, contributed to the Spider-Man mythos? <sighs> Honestly, well, obviously I'm proud. But now, I feel like I have something to live up to. So, there's some pressure. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Let's just be honest. I can't rest on my laurels, <laughs> you know? So, there's a lot of, look, there's a lot of actors out there that are going to be like, oh, accentuate the positive. I'm not one of those guys. I'm cynical. I'm dark, man. I guess that's why I'm Mr. Negative. So <laughs> apologies to everybody if I'm saying the other side. Obviously, the positives are everything that you would imagine somebody saying. You know, uh, Obviously, it's humbling, and I have a great satisfaction, and I know that this is there forever, and I can show my kids if I ever have kids or, or whatever. You know, But like I said, I think for me, uh, I feel like, okay, I got I to gotta keep going, you know? I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop now. I'm on the train. I can't stop. So I feel pressure, honestly. <laughs> just be real. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just one last, one last question. Uh, yeah. What Did you prefer acting the uh, negative side or the positive side of Mr. Nick? Oh, good question. Good question. Huh. You know... Gosh, can I give you the cliche response of like they're both great in their own way? Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, God, I, I I did enjoy playing nice. I will say that I always enjoy playing badass, right? And in this, I was very I was able to be very badass, and I thank Insomniac for that. But it's very rare that I was able to be like nice and and genuine and warm and not selling anything because i've done commercials right where you have to like oh, yeah. Smile. Okay. Yeah, yeah this is like oh this is great i could have like friendship scenes you know that that, that was nice so that was a nice change of pace so, yeah maybe martin lee hmm. but then when i get bored of that i you know and people think i'm too nice then it's nice to go back to being angry and wielding a sword and kicking people in the face so yeah i wouldn't have it any other way yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, do you have any uh, like other projects you'd like to plug or anything? Sure. Uh, well, I will be in... Uh, I have a little role in Terminator Dark Fate. So you will see me, yes. Is that the... which? What is that? Is that uh, the film? That's... Yes. Oh, yeah, that's the one Tim okay. Miller directed. I'm actually yeah. genuinely excited for that. Me too! Yeah, when the first trailer came out, let's all be honest, we were kind of like... Okay, uh, but when they started releasing more and more footage, I was like, ah, all right, I'm totally on board. So I did a little mocap on that, but I also uh, have an acting role in that. So I'm very, very happy to be in a Terminator movie. Uh, That's awesome. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm very. Lucky I mean, like to have you know, Jim Cameron coming back is the main reason I'm excited because yes, the first two are the best. Nothing. Beats. Yes. And then it's just like Absolutely. the other ones are kind of like, uh, you know, right. it's all right. right. But this one, he's right. finally coming back. And it's like, okay, this is the, the real third movie. Like, yeah, I'm really absolutely. The, exactly. The story, I think, is really what. Yeah, I agree. Same thing. As, as I read a little bit more 
of what the actual story was, I was very on board. And I, you know, I like Tim. I, I, Tim is obviously super talented. So I trust obviously Tim and, and James Cameron on that. So I am looking forward to that. That's November. Um, and then uh, also around November or something, I'm on an Apple TV show. Apple, yeah, Apple TV uh, for all mankind. I play an astronaut in a couple oh, episodes. Cool. Yeah, with Joel Kinnaman, who's also my hero. Man, that guy's very nice. Uh, let's see. And what else? And I'm in a couple video games that I cannot talk about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then other than that, it's just, you know, pounding on the doors. Come on, Marvel. Hire me for Shang-Chi. Let me beat the crap out of Simu Liu. You know what? That's my next project. I'm calling out every Asian-American actor, male actor in Hollywood and telling them I could beat them in a fight because I think I can. <laughs> I go. absolutely can. Yeah, man. For and real. So, you know, no joke. follow him on Instagram. Steve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, and if you don't, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to be. Yeah, I'm doing this new thing on my brand where I'm, I'm really leaning heavy into this handsome Asian man. That's that's my brand. <laughs> so I apologize. I'm letting everybody know right now. It's going to be a lot of obnoxious, handsome, cool guy pictures. But I got to let Hollywood know that I'm one of these guys, too. I'm one of these douchebags. I can be one of these dudes. Come oh, on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. Got to look all professional. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, thank you very much for having me on your podcast, James. No problem. Congratulations this... on uh, – congratulate. let's all congratulate James for being in university. Oh, you thank know? you. Yeah. Don't try to stalk him too hard. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, but invite me to one of these parties that y'all go to. Oh, I love yeah. a good party. <laughs> Seriously, hit me up. I'll go for real. Yeah, I travel I across the country. Let's I will. Shoot, I absolutely will. I'm there. Yeah, man. All right. Well, it was a it was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, man. All right. Maybe we can. I look forward. Yeah. Maybe we I look forward to more maybe. of your stuff, man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I like that you're like, maybe. Okay, maybe. Mr. 100K followers. Hey, I mean, <laughs> if you'll, I mean, I said that as in a way, if, if you're willing, I mean. That'd... Yeah, man. No, we'll, we'll be cool. And like I said, you know what? Before we do another podcast, invite me to one of these college parties, all right? <laughs> all right. Maybe in like a year or two, when you're a little bit older. Right now, you're just a baby. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. When all of these, call, like when you're a senior in college, you know what I'm saying? Because that way I'm not like an old man, you know, <laughs> I, I don't want to feel like an old man, you know, I want to be cool. I want to be with the cool kids. So yeah, right. look it up. All right. Yeah, sounds good. And everybody look and yes. And I, I look forward to more of your cool facts on your Thank page you. as well. All right, man. Thanks for having me. Thank All you. right, dude. All right. See ya. Good night.